Data Glenagan's construction prospects for 2014. I'm Sarah Dennis, Data Editor of Construction News, and joining me is Glenagan's Economics Director, Alan Mullane, to discuss the outlook for the industry, and in particular, the expected bright spots during 2014. Hi, Alan. Hello, Sarah. So why does Glenagan think the industry will see stronger growth next year? Well, at last, we're seeing a, a brighter uh, position in the UK economy uh, with very much a private sector uh, led uh, recovery underway now. Um, public sector side less so, uh, the government's still working to control the budget deficit and that, that's constraining things on, on in terms of government funding generally. Um, and we're going to see a very similar picture in construction with a private sector led recovery with increased private sector investment driving the, the 4% rise in project starts we're anticipating for next year. And where will this private investment be felt the strongest? Office construction is a particular bright spot. We've seen a steady fall in available floor space really since 2010, and that's helping to attract investment. And after all, it is an attractive area for overseas investors as well, who are seeing commercial property as a, a real safe haven. So that's a steady flow of money uh, from overseas. As a result of that, we're anticipating a sort of 11% growth in project starts this year and a further 8% rise in project starts as we get into 2014. Retailing is undergoing something of a renaissance at the moment, uh, with consumers returning to the shops and, but also increasingly online. So we're seeing very much a change uh, in where spe uh, consumers are spending their money as much as the, an overall growth in that spending. If you take internet sales, for example, they now account for over 10% of all retail sales. Retailers are, are reacting to that to really try and capitalise on, on the opportunities. Take the supermarkets, for example. Over the last 18 months, uh, there's really been a real dash uh, by all of the major chains now to open more convenience stores. In part, that's to satisfy local market sales, but also it's to support their non-grocery sales through, through click and collect. So will this have implications for other parts of the construction industry? Yes, it will. It's, it's not just the supermarkets that are responding to the growth of the internet. All of the high street stores now are looking at their, their offering uh, and it has implications for their, their own uh, portfolio of high street stores, uh, which stores they want to retain, um, which ones they want to lose and those that they're retaining, how they're going to remodel them to, to cope, with, cope with click and collect and other offerings. But it's not just retail property that's going to see the benefit of that as well. Um, it's also the industrial sector as well. If you're going to provide an online offering, you need a strong logistics supply chain. And there's a lot of investment now going forward into the industrial sector, and it's been one of the main factors driving a 12% rise in project starts that we're anticipating for 2014. So how do you expect all of this to shape construction activity across the country? Well, the upturn in, in office construction is going to be London-centric. Uh, after all, half of all uh, commercial op uh, developments are in the capital. That, that said, we've already seen strong growth this year in areas such as Birmingham, Leeds and Aberdeen. Uh, and we're expecting that strong growth to continue uh, as we get into 2014. Turning to areas such as retail and industrial premises, we're expecting a much more broadly based recovery across the country. Speaking of growth across the UK, are we not expecting this to be housing-led during 2014? Yes, that will be a key, key growth sector. Um, Glenagan has recorded a strong rise in uh, planning approvals uh, during the course of, of this year, which will feed into higher uh, project starts as we get into 2014. Interestingly, though, whilst sort of London and the South East have been the sort of the key growth areas over the last couple of years and really have supported the sector, uh, as we get into uh, next year, we're, we're anticipating more broadly based recovery given the sort of strong rise in planning approvals we've seen so far in other parts of the country, such as the Midlands uh, and the north of England. Um, the social housing side of things, there again we've seen a strong rise in, in planning approvals in the course of this year, but we're somewhat more cautious uh, about the prospects for the sector given the tight constraints on government, central government funding. Um, it's got a lot of pressure on, on social housing providers really to, to tap into the necessary private finance to, to allow all of those planned projects to go ahead. Uh, in 2014. So do we see any other bright spots outside of the private sectors? Education is a positive sector. The priority school building programme is starting to gather pace and that will feed through uh, into starts next year, as the, particularly as the 
that program starts to tap into private finance uh, to deliver projects. In addition to that, um, there's a lot of pressure uh, on local authorities really to come up with the, the necessary uh, places for primary school pupils. And that's going to drive increased investment in the extension and improvements to the primary school estate, particularly in major metropolitan areas, to cope with those rising pupil numbers. Energy will also be an important growth area over the coming years. We've already seen some growth uh, over the last few years, um, making sure there's sufficient capacity and efficient uh, distribution networks to make sure the lights don't go out across the country is, is obviously a high priority. Um, but the energy sector as a, as a whole is also coming under increasing political pressure and, and pressure from the regulator to contain costs. So I think when when bidding for work, I think the the, uh, the contractors and others are going to find a, a close scrutiny being put to how how the projects stack up uh, to make sure they deliver value for money. Thanks very much for joining me here today, Alan. Thank you. If you want to find out more about what Glenigan forecasts for the construction industry during 2014, visit www.glenigan.co.uk to download the report. You can also find more insight on the Construction News website, www.cmplus.co.uk. And of course, you can follow us both on Twitter at CMPlus or at Glenigan for the latest news and reactions in the construction industry.